Happening here in Sarajevo today, earlier this morning, they held the 10,000 meter speed skating competition at the Zetra Oval. We're going to join Don Chevrier and Eric Hyden, who won the gold medal in this particular competition at Lake Placid in 1980. Keith Jackson ordinarily would offer you the coverage, but he's up on the mountain covering the 90 meter ski jumping competition, and you're going to see that exciting competition a little later on tonight. So right now, let's join Don Chevrier and Eric Hyden. As the Olympics wind down to a conclusion this weekend, this is the final day of speed skating, the men's 10,000 meter event. Again, a typically overcast day in Sarajevo. The temperature in the low 20s for this 10,000 meter test. Hello again, everybody. I'm Don Chevrier. Zetra speed skating oval, the men's 10,000 meter race, the most grueling of them all. As the man next to me can attest, Eric Hyden, you won your final gold medal in this. It's got to be awfully tough. Well, this is the longest event for the men, 10,000 meters or 10 kilometers, whichever way you look at it. And the thing is, you go out there, get into a rhythm in the first four or five laps, and then try to almost get hypnotized so that you don't notice the pain, and then come out of it with maybe three or four laps to go and hope you got enough to hang on. The 5,000 meters saw a tremendous duel. It was Igor Malkov finishing two one-hundredths of a second behind the winner, Thomas Gustafsson of Sweden. They're both entered today. Do you expect a rematch? Oh, I think those two are going to be the ones to watch. Malkov was a little bit disappointed with his 5,000 meter results. He really wanted to win that. But Gustafsson right now is riding a high, winning the, the 5,000 meters, which was a big surprise for him. And I think with the results he's had in the 10,000 meters, always dominating, I think he's going to be the one to win. And here is Thomas Gustafsson, the 24-year-old who won the 5,000 gold medal by the barest of margins over Igor Molkov of the Soviet Union. He's the world record holder for the 10,000 meter distance, 14, 23.59. And he's off against Geir Karlstad of Norway. 25 times around the speed skating oval they will travel to complete the 10,000 meters, which as Eric said is 10 kilometers or six miles. This is going to be a good pair. Both Tomas and Geyer have really good personal records. And for Tomas, he has really matured at these distances. When I was skating, he had the qualities to make a good endurance skater, but what it takes is a lot of, a lot of races. And now Tomas has a lot of those under his belt, and you can bet he knows what kind of pace he can set for himself. Eric, he's not a big man. He's 5'9", weighs about 150 pounds. That strikes me as not being the ideal build for a distance race such as this, is it? Well, a lot of skaters are maybe 5'9", 5'10", and Tomas is pretty typical. Some of the Norwegians are a little bit bigger, like Geyer, but then there's some who are a lot smaller. Remember my sister? Ooh, she's mm -hmm. about five feet tall. <laughs> she was tough. Geyer is 6'2", weighs 185 pounds, and right now he has the lead on Thomas Gustafsson, but I suspect that is Gustafsson's plan, not to burn up too early in this long race. Well, the thing about the long distance races is that you got to stay on your program. You sit down before the races with your coach and decide what kind of ice conditions there are and just what kind of shape you're in. And your coach will tell you the entire time what kind of pace you're setting for yourself. And you want to stay on that pace. You don't want to get caught up dueling it out with your pair. Gustafsson now as they make the switch with the yellow cap representing Sweden. Geir Karlstad of Norway has about a second and a half lead on him here. But again, it is very, very early in this race. 10,000 meters, 25 laps to go around the Zetra speed skating oval. As they save all the energy they can manage with the arms behind the back, bring the right arm out now for those crucial turns. There's the split time of 1,200 meters. Let's find out more about the favorite, Tomas Gustafsson, up close and personal with Terry Blair. Bachelor Thomas Gustafsson lives in Eskilstuna, Sweden. He loves rock music and really admires American skater Eric Haydn. When I started to speed skate, there was actually no one I looked up to. While in 79, I decided to go over to uh, the United States to, to see what the American kids were doing because uh, this uh, Eric was you know, like he was world champion. And I thought, you know, my, my chance to improve in speed skating was to, to see how the world champion was doing because back home we didn't have that influence. So I went over there and I, I learned a lot that year. Speed skating takes a lot of uh, energy and there is a need to relax in between, in between the workouts and in between the competitions. So what I do in, be in between is I listen to music and I, I, uh, I read books. I try to spend some time with myself. Like I, I like to be alone sometimes. 
uh, so I can concentrate, or not concentrate in speed skating, but concentrate on myself and, and make sure I relax. I think it was when I was 14 years old, I started to listen to Alice Cooper and Lou Reed and David Bowie and these guys. So, uh, and I think this was in eighth grade in school, we, we decided to make a film about Lou Reed. Well, this is not the Lou Reed story, but it was fun. It's, it was fun at the time, and it's, and it's fun to watch it now. I would like to be a, a photographer too. That would be nice. Like uh, it's nice here in Stockholm. It's nice also to just to bring the camera, set up the tripod, and shoot some pictures. Just to to see how they turn out. I'm and I maybe I dreamed to be a model. Didn't have the I didn't have the looks for it, but I I can be a model for myself. So I, I set I set the camera up and I I pose in the picture and I. I, I, I see the results later on when I get it developed. It's just nice. It's, it's just a fun thing to do. I'm enjoying this. And uh, I hope I'm going to enjoy it even after I quit this strange way of life. Because I, I must say that to be into sports is something different.